press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello, welcome to YouTube. This is Ravi Singh from TechPost and in this video, I'm going to discuss about the apps which can help you increase the battery life of your Android device. Now without further ado, let's get straight to it. Now if you are new here, I request you to please subscribe to our channel as we upload similar videos related to Android and iPhone. Now in this video, I'm going to discuss about the apps which you can install directly on your Android device. All these apps are absolutely free and available on the Play Store. So the first app that you can use to extend your battery life is the Pixel Filter. Now what the Pixel Filter does it, it decreases the screen brightness below the minimum level by turning off individual pixels and along with that it keeps the screen contrast at the same level. So this way you can save battery on the newer AMOLED screens and it even works on other TFT and IPS displays. Now there is an advantage to the AMOLED screens as they will turn off black pixels completely while in the IPS display the backlit is always on. Now this feature is especially good for the 4K screens and you can disable all those pixels that you don't need. Now this app comes with a screen pattern editor and a light sensor support for turning filters off automatically. Also you can enable the feature called screen pattern shift which protects the pixels from burning out and uneven pixel wear out. Now the next app on our list is AQ battery. Now AQ battery is actually a doctor of your phone's battery. It is always said that the phone shouldn't be idly charged beyond 80% as every charging session causes a bit of fear and tear. So it's recommended that a phone should only be charged till 80%. So to achieve that, AQ battery comes up with a unique idea of setting an alarm for the charging session so that as soon as the charge reaches 80%, it would sound an alarm. Beside the battery alarm, the AQ battery comes with some other helpful features. For example, displaying the amount of juice left to use along with amount of juice consumed by each app and this data is brilliantly structured in a graphical manner. Now the next app is the hibernation manager. Now the hibernation manager helps you to save battery when you do not use your Android device. So when the screen goes off, it hibernates your processor that is the CPU, settings and even application to save your battery power. Now the CPU hibernation is available for the root users which automatically sets CPU to the lowest possible frequency and voltage which ensures huge battery savings. Now under the setting hibernations you can choose which settings will be automatically disabled that is hibernated when your screen is off and enabled when your screen is turned on. Similarly you can choose which battery draining apps will be disabled that is hibernated when the screen is off as some of the apps installed on your android device constantly performs in the background and drains a lot of battery. For example social apps like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram etc. The hibernation manager also comes with a battery widget which allows you to control hibernation manager right from your home screen. Now in case if you face any problem with some of the hibernated apps, I recommend you to disable the particular hibernation and restart that particular app again and it will work perfectly fine. Now the next and the last app is Greenify. You must have heard about this app. It's a really popular app which is available on the Play Store. What Greenify does is it helps you identify and put the misbehaving apps into hibernation when you are not using them and to stop them from lagging your device and leaching the battery in a very unique way. Now the apps which are hibernated using the Greenify app can do nothing without explicit launch by you or other app. Now why you should go for the Greenify is, is the fact that it's very lightweight. It uses average RAM which is around 5 MB and almost zero CPU power and consumes very less battery ultimately improving the battery life of your Android device. Now these are the apps that you can use to improve the battery life of your Android device. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel as we upload similar videos related to Android and iOS devices. Like this video, share this video, also leave your feedback 
in the comments down below. I'll see you in my next video. Till then, have a great time and take care.